Hello traders and welcome to a new YouTube video. Well, we have been missing for a while. We haven't posted any videos on our channel for almost two weeks. But I have to say that we have been busy working with our students, teaching them our Avex Elite Club Forex course, uh, teaching them the strategies and secrets. And I have to tell you that we have done a very good job with them. Many people learned a lot so it's something good we also have been working on other projects that will benefit uh, you guys and you will find out about it uh, soon we will reveal these projects soon but for now we are back and in this video i'll be talking to you about reversal candlestick formation uh, they are very important hope you guys uh, like the video and enjoy well i'll start on your usd currency pair on the weekly time frame I will explain to you the candlestick formations sorry on the weekly uh, time frame or the daily as they look much better on the higher time frames and it will look more obvious for you to understand how they uh, look like and the main characteristics of these candlestick formations well first we have the first reversal candlestick formation which is bullish or bearish engulfing candlestick formation when you see this candlestick you have to know that the trend will reverse so of course do not enter a trade with the uh, current tr uh, trend and enter a trade that is in the opposite way of the current trend well the engulfing candlestick formation consists of two candlesticks uh, and usually the second candlestick engulfs the first candlestick so it has to be bigger and sometimes uh, it it has at least it has to pass at least the second half of the first candlestick as you can see this one is very big and it's already bigger than the green well if the second uh, candlestick is red then it's a bearish engulfing candlestick formation which of course means that the trend will reverse and will be a downtrend and if the second candlestick is green then it's a bullish engulfing candlestick formations which which means that the trend will reverse and a new uptrend will start well as you can see here we have here a downtrend but the price started to make a new leg in the uh, downtrend uh, downtrend that is happening already but boom we had this reversal signals signal which means that the price won't go any higher and the price will decline and as you can see the price declined very very hard actually engulfing candlesticks are very important and very powerful candlestick formation and you have to be aware of them and know them well uh, I'll try to find you another um, bullish engulfing candlestick instead of this one, but this is our first example. Well, the second candlestick, uh, which also a reversal candlestick, is the shooting star. Well, we have here multiple shooting star candlesticks. We have one, two, three, four, five. Well, the main characteristics of the shooting star candlestick is that they have a very small uh, red body and they have a very long upper wick sometimes the wick uh, be bigger th uh, be double the body of the uh, candlestick and it has a very small down wick and sometimes they don't have wick at the downside Sh the shooting star is also a reversal candlestick formation and it comes at the end of a long uptrend as you can see we have this very long uptrend and then we started to see on the weekly time frame um, a shooting star a candlestick shooting star shooting star shooting star so sorry about that so this was of course a clear signal that the price will decline and that the price won't continue the uptrend so when you see a shooting star an engulfing bearish or bullish candlestick you have to be very aware of them as they are very strong and actually those are very common and you will see it on almost all uh, time frames but they are most powerful on the weekly and the daily time frame also the engulfing are most powerful on the weekly and the daily time frame well the uh, third uh, candlestick formation that we are gonna talk about is the hanging man well we have in this highlighted area we have a hanging man which is this little one 
let me highlight it for you this is sorry this is the hanging man well the hanging man has a very small red body and it has a very long down uh, shadow and sometimes it has a small wick at the upside or sometimes this wick does not exist and they only have a down wick well the hanging man candlestick formation comes at the end of upturned the same as the shooting star and when it comes at this uh, the end of this uptrend it refers that the price had enough and it will reverse and it will go down fast and as you can see the price declined very very fast so if you have been analyzing your USD on the weekly time frame and you saw this area of multiple shooting stars and a hanging man you should have take a very good advantage of this area and enter it sell on this as you will would gain a lot of pips as you can see the price declined very very hard so the hanging man is very important and also very powerful candlestick formation but I have to tell you that the hanging man is considered uh, a very rare candlestick formation and you won't see it a lot but when you see it you have to know that is this is a very powerful um, signal and you should take advantage of it but the shooting star and engulfing you see a lot on different time frames well what we have here also we have the fourth candlestick formation which is called the hammer well this is the hammer this is also can be a hammer well both they look exactly the same as the hanging man the only difference difference between the hammer and the hanging man is that the, the hammer comes at the end of a downtrend and the hanging man comes at the end of an uptrend so we have here a downtrend and then this hammer appeared well the hammer appears uh, the hammer refers to that the price is hammering the price will start to go up after this candlestick and as you can see the price accelerated very very hard after making two hammers well I have to tell you that the hammer has a small body as you can see a small body a long shadow to this to the downside and uh, sometimes they don't have wick at the upside and if they had sometimes it's uh, it's very small well the hammer as I said has two the color of the the color coordination of the candlestick is not important sometimes it comes as a green candlestick sometimes it comes as a red uh, candlestick but I have to tell you that the green is more powerful powerful than the red candlestick formation but both are good and both are a reversal candlestick formation so we have as I said we have so far four candlestick formation we have engulfing bearish or bullish engulfing candlestick formation we have the shooting star we have the hanging man and we have the hammer what else we have we also have dodies well dodies uh, the main characteristic well I have to tell you that dodies has many ha have many uh, formations and many shapes but the main characteristics of the dodies is that they have a very vo very very small body and a very long wicks to the upside or to the, to the downside sometimes it, ha it has wicks to the upside and to the downside and sometimes they don't have bodies such as this candlestick this one is a doji this one is a doji this one is a doji as you can see we have wicks 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 and very very small bodies sometimes no bodies at all wicks and also this also a doji a doji a doji a doji a doji as you can see well the doji is not a reversal candlestick formation but it's kind of a warning signal a warning signal that the price will will reach the peak it almost reached the peak or it's uh, uh, very soon it will reach the peak as you can see we had this downtrend and then what happened the doji started to uh, happen well this will happen before the final peak of the price so it was a warning that the price will for will reach the peak soon so if you saw this 
inside a long uh, trend whether it's up or down it's a warning si warning signal for you that the price will maybe reverse soon it means that the this candlestick means that the pr the buyers or the sellers cannot take control of the price and cannot take control of the market so it it means that the price will reach the peak soon well if we try to find examples we have this candlestick formation over here which is the engulfing candlestick formation well as i told you as you can see it's a bearish engulfing candlestick formation well the second candlestick is not uh the same size as the first but it reached or it passed the second half of the first candlestick so it can be considered a, a bearish engulfing candlestick formation and as you can see after forming this leg the price boom went down very fast over here we have the shooting star candlestick formation a very long up shadow a small shadow to the downside a very small uh, body in comparison to the shadow and it came at the end of an uptrend what happened the price declined very 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 hard very hard and actually declined um, I don't know like hundreds of bips to the downside after this happening so what we have also we have a doji's over here a doji's a doji's a doji's actually a doji is a very very common candlestick you can find it in almost all time frames weekly daily even monthly and of course the four hours two hour one hour and the minutes time frame of course so let's go find another example on on another currency pair let's move to euro new zealand i think i have uh, highlighted examples for you let's go to the daily time frame well over here this one is a shooting star as you can see it happened after an uptrend a small body a long upper shadow a small down shadow what happened the price declined very very hard actually in this area we had multiple um, um, signals we had a doji and also a doji so those were, were like warning signals that be careful the price will reverse be careful and then what happened we had this confirmation signal of a shooting star so this should have been a very good area for trading and a very good area of signals a doji almost a doji a doji and then a shooting star what else we have yes an engulfing candlestick formation the second is red so it's a bearish engulfing candlestick formation the second candlestick engulfed the first candlestick it came after a very long uptrend what happened boom the price declined very hard actually also if we take a closer look on this area we had in this is also a bearish engulfing candlestick this is a shooting star and also another bearish engulfing candlestick so this area also was a great area of signals and this candlestick shooting star is the one that I said that it has no down um, wick or a down shadow as you can see it has only a small body and a very big wick to the upside so this also as I said is a very good area of signals and what happened we also have a doji so we have two engulfing one shooting star sorry one shooting star and a doji and another shooting star so it was a very good area for trading what we have here as you can see we have a downturn and then a hammer we have two hammers but as i said the most powerful is the green so we had a hammer well i have to tell you in this area uh, I would not recommend entering a trade after this candlestick as we have a, a resistance above this price so it's better to wait for the resistance to be broken and enter with the retest it will be better and of course you will make sure that you were, were the price were able to break the resistance so just be aware of your support and your resistance 
and when you see a candlestick formation let's say if you are in a downtrend and you saw a reversal candlestick formation make sure that you don't have a resistance above of the price and make sure to wait for the break of this resistance and enter with the retest and of course as you can see you would have achieved a very very good amount of pips and you also were sure that the resistance is broken and the price were able to break it actually it's also a better a double bottom as you can see and this is kind of the neckline broken retested and boom well finally we have this example of the shooting star we had this uptrend and then a shooting star um, a red shooting star with a with a wick to the upside a wick to the downside and boom the price went very hard to the downside retested the area once again and then boom again to the downside so I think candlestick formations are very important especially if you're working with price action strategies it helps a lot you have to know the formation very well remember them memorize the uh, shape of the candlesticks if you want to take screenshot of the videos uh, and write on it it will help you a lot uh, so yeah hope you guys like the video and enjoy it if you have any question please uh, you will find or I will our links in the description box below you can contact us on telegram and Instagram or leave me a comment on the video and one of our team will reach you as soon as possible have a good weekend I will see you guys in the next video